Welcome to Sparkles. I'm Reverend Carol, the Associate Minister with Unity of Boston. And in this issue of The Spark, my blog is about Marian Anderson. This week, our YFM Sunday lesson is about Marian Anderson. The several biographies on her tell us she was an American contralto who performed with renowned orchestras in major concert and recital venues throughout the U.S. and Europe between 1925 and 1965. She was the first African-American singer to perform at the White House and to sing with New York's Metropolitan Opera. She made history in 1939 when she sang in front of a crowd of 75,000 at the Lincoln Memorial. You know, it was not only her performance for a diverse crowd, but how she came to sing at the Lincoln Memorial that made it so memorial. And then she was invited by Howard University as part of their concert series. And they wanted to use the Constitution Hall, which was the only place in Washington, D.C. at that time that was large enough to accommodate the crowds. It was owned by the Daughters of the American Revolution, who denied the request as they did not allow black performers on their stage. Now, one of the members of DAR was the First Lady, Eleanor Roosevelt, who, angered by their actions, sent a letter of resignation and wrote about it in her column, My Day. Eleanor Roosevelt and Marian Anderson remained friends until Eleanor's death. You know, but at this concert, she began with the song America, and she made a slight change to one of the lines. Instead of a V I sing, she sang, to thee we sing. When asked why, Anderson said, we cannot live alone. And the thing that made this moment possible for you and for me has been brought about by many people whom we will never know. Now, Mary, Marian Anderson was not a civil rights activist, but she was, however, a trailblazer and she followed her calling of becoming a singer that she believed was a gift from God to be shared. And she believed that fear is a disease that eats away at logic and makes man inhuman. Now she was a person of deep faith where prayer begins, where human capacity ends. She stated that when I sing, I don't want them, want them to see that my face is black. I don't want them to see that my face is white. I want them to see my soul, and that is colorless. Now, in a time of segregation, of extreme prejudices that were legally supported by law, where she was not welcome simply because of the color of her skin, she stated, I have a great belief in the future of my people and my country. You know, she insisted on vertical seating, at meeting black audience members would be allotted seats in all parts of the auditorium, and by 1950 refused to sing where the audience was segregated. You know, that is faith, a faith she shared through her voice. Her activism was not a loud one, yet strong, persistent, and devoid of anger and hate. If you have a purpose in which you can believe, there's no end to the amount of things you can accomplish. That was a quote by Marian Anderson. And for more information about her and her incredible voice and how she was led by her faith, you can go to many websites, one of which is 
Marion Anderson Historical Society. You can also hear audio clips of her singing. I invite you also to listen to the YFM lesson that is read by Genevieve as she tells a story about Marian Anderson. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Love, light, and sparkles.